Well, I got this up and going. I'm testing it out. Different than that one for sure. I've got to get this one set up again. So I think with the size of this one, I'm going to need something to extract the fumes. That is... That's weird. You can see that on the video back there. That's not there in, like, real life. A reflection of the laser, because you can kind of see it over here too, coming through the cap and reflecting on the wall. So because of the size of this, I can't just put a, you know, hose right next to the little marking area because it's gonna mark like all of this. So I need to have some type of like fume extractor almost up here, especially if I'm gonna be doing much larger items and stuff. Interesting though, let's see what this turns out to be. And I really like the LCD screen that shows like how far along the progress is, kind of gives you all the stats about the actual design that's printing out and an idea of an image of it right over here. Pretty nice. I wish I had a different area for it though. This is like, this is just kind of funky. But there is an app that goes with it too. And I can set it up on my work machine, on my workstation, run it through Lightburn. It works with Lightburn too. Oh, I couldn't tell that it was finished. That sound is actually an air pump that kind of blows off the char that's left behind on the laser as it's going through. You can kind of see right here, I didn't have it on at first, and it's got a little bit of that char mark. And then I turned it on, and uh, it's nice and clean. So, yeah, once I turn it off, that's a lot better. Let's see what this thing made. Beom. 